All right, so this is the first image that we're going to use to show you how to get great skin colors. So first things first, let's click in the search bar, white balance, let's activate it. All right, so right now this is the original image. Uh, let me show you the one that we're going to create. We're going to create this one. The colors are much more natural. The colors over here in this duplicate image are very orangey-like and there's a green glow over it. So we're going to fix that. And in this case, I'm not going to run you through all these options. Uh, because this is the white balance camera reference point. This one is the user modified. So that's the settings as shot from image area, user modified camera reference. So I'm going to use this color picker because uh, we're going to create the color picker here or we're going to set it here on the eye. And the reason for that is because the eye is the widest part of your body. And now you see we've got a much more natural color in comparison to before. So this is the original and this is the new one. Ain't that great. Let's go to the second image. It's going to take a little bit more work. This is the uh, end result. Let me show you what we're going to start with. This is what we're going to start with. For this, we are going to use the color balance. Color balance, RGB. Let's activate it. But you can't just slide anything like you want to because if you do that, the entire image will be affected. And we don't want the entire image to be affected. We only want the skin colors to be affected. So we're going to use a mask and we're not going to use a drawn mask, but we're going to use a drawn and parametric mask. So we're going to use both. First things first, let's draw a little bit. Let's add a path and let's just move it around her face. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to eventually feather it a little bit, blur it and everything like that. And I want to stop using a little bit a lot because I'm using a little bit a lot in my videos. So here, and we're going to leave the lips out for the simple reason that lips don't have to change color. So let's create another drawn mask. And if you want to see them, just click this little symbol right here that will show the mask. Let's uh, create another one because we need one for the hands as well. And not just the hands, but we need one for the foot because everything needs to add up, right? I'm going to show you something before I'm going to change the sliders, which is this. This is the L'Oreal skin color chart used for skin color identification, which means that this is your base color, so your base tint, and this is when it gets darker, and this is when it gets warmer, all right? We need to identify her skin with the chart over here, and uh, which means that it's not logical to give her this brown color. And neither is it logical to give her this dark pink color. So we need to stay on the left side of this spectrum. So that's a good thing to know. Let's close this down. And you can actually find it for free online though. So don't worry about it. And now let's look at the hue sliders. And not of the shadows, but of the highlights and the powers. So I'm going to slide it around here. And I'm going to look here at the chroma to see what that does with the color. And I want to make sure that it's close to her natural skin color. I think it'll be something around here. And the same goes for the power. So we're going to place that around the same mark. And now we're going to increase the chroma. And watch what happens to her face. You see that? It gets a little bit more tint. It's like she's put on some makeup and she looks a lot more natural right now. A lot more healthier. And then if this doesn't satisfy you because you've got some bleeding or anything, we can use the parametric mask because that's what we selected as well. And we're going to use the color picker. We're going to place it here. And then you see the area that we need to select is here. So make sure it's on HZ. Let's drag this in. And if you want to see the mask, just click this mask refinement and then you will see what the mask is about. Now you can drag these points in or outwards. So let's say I want a little bit more bleeding into the ear. I can do it like that. And we can change the feathering a little bit, blur a little bit, and we can change the mask contrast. So we can make it a little bit more harsh. And we can change the opacity. You see, oh, that looks horrible. That looks horrible as well. But let's gently slide it to the left, deselect that. And now let's look at the before and after. So first deselect this so we don't see the mask anymore in case you had this on. Let's see a before and after. So here's a before. Here's an after, looks much more natural. And the same goes for this. Here's a before and here's an after, looks a lot more natural as well. 